That's it, baby. The sugar Shell stays undefeated. Raulus Rosas Jr., Christian Rodriguez. I called it. I said Christian Rodriguez is going to be too much for him. He's 18 years old. He's 18. That's so young, dude. I was fucking jerking off four times a day when I was 18. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I called that. I said, I think Christian Rodriguez is going to be too much. Trains at a good fucking gym. Doesn't mean Raulus Rosas Jr. is done. But, I mean, it's like, where do you go from here? Maybe you don't even sign him at that age. You let him fight for two, three years. Rack up some more wins. This kid's coming in 15-0, and 0, undefeated. Bet, you know what I mean? I think it's just, but UFC's, that's the risk they're willing to take. Hey, we're going to have a potential star. He still can be. But I don't know. You watched that fight? Yeah, I did watch it. And uh, and I was thinking the same thing. I was like, maybe he trains with people that he can just sprint at and run run through like that. Mm -hmm. Or the big moment got to him. I, don't, I wonder if that was their game plan. Sprint at him and shoot from 10 feet away. I called it. I said, I told the boys. Yeah. I said he's yeah. gonna come out. Be, he he's gonna come out frantic. Try to just do what he does to pry most people at the gym. Take them down. Take their back. Choke them. But if not, he's gonna gas. He's gonna. Mm -hmm. He can't keep that pace. And Christian Rodriguez did really good. Stayed. Yep. Stayed calm. Got his back took. Did good defense. And yeah. really, like at the end of the day, it's just like if he would have ran out there and won that fight, took that kid down. That wouldn't have been any good. It's better. For, it's gonna be better for his career. Maybe that that happened to him, and he's like, holy. Well, he was, he was saying, up. I can beat every bantamweight in the division. I went, I, he said he grappled with Al Jermaine Sterling and got the best of him. So, I, hope, I mean, maybe it humbled him, maybe not. I mean, it had to have. You can't not go out of there and be like, oh, I'll beat everyone. You just, you know, lost. So. And he came out there, yeah, exactly, with that frantic pace. He got on the back, and you can tell he's holding his breath the whole time, holding his breath on all those chokes, emptying the tank on those chokes, and they went there, and that kid did a good job staying calm. Did it, His mouth guard kept falling out. Is that something to do with his chin? Like, does it, I wonder, mm -hmm. I'm serious, because yeah. I wonder if that doesn't sit in there, right? Maybe you put like, the mouth guard on the bottom. <laughs> I thought you were joking at first laughing? about that, but no, it's serious. It? No, and then he, I was laughing too because I thought it was, it's serious. You're yeah, being real about it. Well, I'll, I was thinking hard. that f***ing one knee that hit him in the neck. I thought, mm. hit him in the, you know, what if it made it like. Popped it straight. <laughs> Dude, Casa's so f <laughs> funny about that sh Oh my God. Is it, is it realistic to stay at that pace for three rounds? Dude, even? look at Alexander Volkanov. Just There's like rare Rosa's humans. doing that. that Colby Covington frantic. keeps that kind of pace. There's yeah. people that do keep that type of pace. I think there's natural ability and then there's hard work ethic. But I think after you've fought for a long time, you've grappled for a long time, but really fought for a long time at a, at a big mm. level, that your cardio slowly matures yep. and you really learn when to be relaxing when you're not doesn't look like you're relaxing, but be efficient with your energy. So fucking important in five minute rounds. Look at Marab. That mother didn't step off the ass. So it's possible, yeah. but it's just, it's, it is rare when someone can keep that pace. That fight was fucked. So we, Kevin Holland, Santiago then, Ponson, even well, go ahead, So sorry. what do you think? What do you think next for Raul Rosas? I think there's 35ers in the, in the division that he can still beat up. For sure. He but, didn't look we'll, bad. but we'll see what that does to your confidence. Like that, that kind of shit sometimes fucking demoralizes people. They're like, mm -hmm. holy, I've never felt that. And I don't want to feel that again. Am I as good as I thought I was? Am I going to be as confident the next fight? Or I know I could lose my job if I lose this fight. So am I going to be as reckless? Like That third round was probably humbling for him. Just getting wailed just on, choked. And... Yeah, fuck. Yeah, what's next for him? I think, yeah, like you said, there's definitely guys in the division that he, he can go out there and beat. But doesn't. I don't even think he needs to go out there and get a win. He needs to go out there and get better. Two years. Take two years off. Lift. Fucking grind. Because you said he was walking good. around. I he like said, uh, Daniel told me, i never seen it. Daniel said he was 140 fight week. He's four pounds uh, overweight. I don't think he should go to 25. I think he should stay at 35. Just don't fight for a couple years. Get good. Yeah. Fucking just improve everywhere. Come back. You're 20 years old. He wants to be the youngest champ. Maybe that humbled him. Okay. Well, that's not, I mean, it's not not realistic. Take two years off. You're 20. Still have a possibility. God, but then the pressure for 18 years old to get on a main card like that. Be a main card and a pay-per-view sold the out that's a lot Man. of like just pressure that place dude. looked crazy yeah. but chris rodriguez nice little win he seems like a nice kid seems like uh you know obviously trains at a good gym with uh rufus and uh uh should we drop good. down to the preliminaries oh, what's up sugar squad if you like this video don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click down below to check out the full episode and subscribe to be a part of the journey